Hello everyone. So from today onward, we will see the one of the major component in the ELM that is the test management. We called it as a RQM, Rational Quality Management or a Quality Management. So let's start the journey. So I'm, I'm logging in this RQM uh, portal. So RQM portal, I'm uh, using this URL that is https colon slash slash localhost or your uh, host name or a domain name that you have provided colon 9443 slash qm slash web click on enter this login page will come so enter your username which you have created while configuration click on login once you click on a login this page dashboard page will come okay so this is the admin page okay so here you can say users project areas, templates, access group, reports, and diagnostic page, okay? So, we will go with the dashboard page of it, where we have created one project area. So, if you want to move for the dashboard, then you can uh, change the URL qm slash web, okay? So that you can get the dashboard page, okay? If you place here as admin, you will redirect it to the admin page okay so first we will browse through the web and then we'll uh, check the admin uh, options okay so first you can see the one project area which we have created as a jke banking okay so which is the sample project area which is having all the sample data which is already there or uh, embedded by the system itself okay so for our reference you can use it okay so here you can see this is the project area of the jke banking okay so this is the dashboard where you can show all the widgets okay welcome widgets then project description what is the status of the server and many more here you can click on add widget and related all the reports related to this you can add here okay so for now let's uh, look at this tabs one by one okay so this is the project dashboard that we can see here another is the requirement page see the, as this is the life cycle project area so it is already having a traceability between dnj that is a rqm uh, requirement management component so that's the reason from quality management itself you can manage the various requirements itself so here it is giving the options to create the requirement create the requirement collection and waive the requirements okay in this planning section you can see test plan Browse the test plans, create the test plan and import the test plan. So what is mean by a test plan? So test plan you can say is the higher level uh, parent directory where you are keeping all artifact or you are managing the all artifact. Okay. So for example, we do have a test artifacts like test cases, then uh, test suit, test scripts, right? So all will be managed in a one test plan. So test plan you can uh, make a use of like in your project area or in your project if suppose one module is there okay big module or a feature that you want to develop so you can make uh, one test plan for one big module so uh, module wise you can create a test plans and uh, whatever the test cases test scripts test suits are there with respect to that modules you can manage in a one test plan okay so this is the reference that you can relate with this project area okay so in the browse whatever the created test plans are there you can browse here okay so here uh, another way to manage the test plan is the as per the uh, phase wise okay so for example uh, you have a project and you do have a development phase system validation user acceptance and the final stage as well so you can phase wise you can create the test plans and you can manage the data okay so the second option is you can create the test plans okay so here you can see the options to create the test plan here you can give a name demo test plan okay these are the sections which are present in the uh, demo or test plan section so here this is the customizable template so in one of the lecture I, I will show you how you can customize those sections as well so from here as well you can do that so if you want to uh, take some extra uh, fields from here or a section from here you can add here just select it and just add here okay and if you want uh, if you don't want any section from this okay so if suppose i don't want this one then i can back to the available section you can put it click on okay so here you can see one by one okay so these are the sections where you have to feed all the information 
okay next is import test plan so suppose if you have already uh, created one test plan so you can click on the import test plan so there is a one formula like a uh, format you can say uh, to uh, create that test plan and then you can import it so that we will check in later session but we will just go through the options here first so in the construction you can see whatever the artifacts are there test cases test scripts suit test data and keywords so all those are related to quality man uh, quality testing right uh, testing purpose artifacts so all these testing uh, artifacts you can create here this is the second option that is a create and whatever the created artifacts you can view here from this browse tab and if, from the import option you can all if you already have those test artifacts then you can import via from the excel okay in the lab management you can manage the resources how many machines are there virtual images then lab request environment and all these things you can manage here it is called it as a lab management so it is like related to the system environment that you have okay so build it means it is related to uh, as we know like we do have in rtc we do have a source control management and build management so from that build management you can uh, manage this uh, build things whatever the um, source code you have developed and you are uh, passing it for the build or you are creating any deployable from it so that build reports build definitions are you can integrate here okay execution it means whatever the test artifacts we are creating okay so to execute any of the test cases and test scripts we required the execution records okay so for example to execute the test case record without test case execution records we can't do anything means we, we can't run it for each of the test case that we are creating in the construction we should have a execution record as a test case execution record similarly for a test suit as well we required one execution record okay so similarly you can create this okay report it means how uh, like whatever the test cases we have created how we can create the re uh, reports from it okay and uh, change request it means it's uh, uh, related to the change and configuration management so where we are managing our task so suppose in uh, um, rtc configuration management if you want uh, if any developer is assigned task okay whichever task is assigned to that developer the source code is if that source code is uh, attached to that uh, work item then <clears throat> all the uh, chain sets are associated with that work item and that work item you can associate with this okay so uh, whatever the task that developer is uh, going to perform that task is you can get attached to the test artifacts okay so this uh, these are the information about the all menu tab which are there in the uh, test management project area so in the next lecture we'll go one by one how to create those artifacts and how to manage the templates and all things okay so thanks for watching this video